a good species to know and be able to identify um, so you can scout out good berry picking patches is the black huckleberry or vexinium membranaceum. So it's a shrub that tends to grow in the understories on dry to moist sites. It'll grow valley bottoms to high elevations. Um, definitely it seems to be kind of a bit moister sites. You'll find it more abundant, but I've seen it on a pretty big range of sites. So 0.3 to 1.5 meters tall. The leaves are lance shaped to elliptic and they come to a point at the end. So a pointed tip. Um, the margins are finely toothed. So the edge of the leaf, you can see the serrations or teeth on the edge of that. Um, it gets pink urn shaped flowers, which will develop into berries. So you can see a little green berry starting to starting there. It's near the end of August. I'm surprised they're not quite ripe. Um, there's some down here. So that dark purple one is fairly characteristic of black huckleberry. And you'll find them quite large. Uh, these ones are fairly small, but they will get quite a bit bigger than that. Um, and you'll see the kind of twisting or kinks to the stem. Not quite as obvious as some of our other vaccinium species, but one of the keys for identification is going to be this leaf shape with the fine tooth edges and the pointed tip. If we compare that to, I thought there was some overly blueberry in here. Uh, it seems to all be huckleberry. But if you watch the overleaf blueberry video, and I took a photo of the leaves side by side, overleaf blueberry has that more oval leaf. Oh, there they are, down here. So black huckleberry here and overleaf blueberry still comes to a little bit of a tip, but it's much more rounded. You compare it to that pointy tip of the black huckleberry. And you can see that stem very obviously, an obvious kink to it in the overleaf blueberry. The fruits are similar, but the overleaf blueberry has that bit of a white kind of film to it. So that's the blueberry down here and the black huckleberry up here.